holy moly i have been thrifting for three days and um i thought i would just do a live show and show you all this mega stuff that i bought this room is full it's crazy um let me tilt this camera down and that's, not even, that's not even all of it. There's more all the way there. So, um, yeah. Hey, Hall, pull. Yeah. Go ahead and pull that curtain back. The red one? Yeah. And the flower or just the red? Yeah, pull them both back. I Bobby, mean, okay. close them is what I'm trying to say. Close well, them let's both. Pull them. I don't know. You can't get good help these days. Like so, hey, help. Andy. Um, Thrifty Paper Garden is here. How are you, Julie? Um, anyway, now I'm going to be blue because the light in here is terrible, but that was just blinding. I couldn't deal with it. Um, so we'll just be blue. Hey, Nancy. Thanks. Nancy's doing some research for me on one of the things that I bought because Nancy is like this research guru. I don't know how she does it. It's like, I don't know if she goes to the deep web or what she does, but she can definitely, she sources her sourcing. Oh, she can do it. So she's doing some research for, on this little thing. This is one of the things that I bought. Got these little, um, Nancy thinks these are rose quartz stones on it. It's got this little tiny bird here on the top and it's marked H O B E with a little, on the end extra and um and they're jewelry makers i know they make costume jewelry so uh yes yes julie research gurus are worth their weight in gold and i'm lucky to, to know one um so anyway thursday i met chris in cincinnati we we were in a saint vincent de paul i think for about Let's see, three hours before we came up for air. And um, and then we continued to do shopping in other places, and it was wonderful, and I came home with a lot of stuff. So then Friday morning, um, I went and met Andy, and we went to Springfield, Ohio, which is about 45 minutes from here. And we went to some thrift stores there and bought quite a bit of stuff. And then this morning, Holly and I, um, uh, Nancy, it's fine. You just do what you want to do. Um, but Holly and I went to a church sale this morning because we know that, you know, that that season is starting to wind down, uh, at least here in the Midwest. And we'll probably only have about another month of good, of, um, garage sales. I prefer church sales. So I wanted to hit this one. And, uh, so we bought quite a bit of stuff. So I thought I would just go through it. Um, hey Val, I'm glad you could make it. So um, I'm just going to kind of do whatever is close to me. And right now it's closed, but I still have a lot of other stuff. Um, so this is a, it's made, it's a made one. It's not a homemade one, but it's just a, a, a um, fall decoration. And my daughter, Jessica loves fall. So I thought I'd pick that up for her. It was a dollar. And then uh, I wanted to say, I figured this morning that I spent probably around $250 over the last three days sourcing, which is not a lot for three days worth of sourcing, but the clothing alone, if it sells for $10 a piece, that's somewhere in the neighborhood of $400. So uh, I think I'm going to do fine. I got some really good stuff. Let's see. what What's... You're saying, went to my favorite annual church sale. Always the best scores. Um, the sale has changed from get rid of stuff to let's try to make a few bucks. Um, yeah. Uh, and some of them here are like that too. Today at this particular sale, it was half price day. So Holly and I went in and everything that we could carry the first time was about $40. We went back. We had a hot dog and... Um, and a brownie and then we checked out again and it was another 12.50 so um, we bought a lot of stuff and they had things reasonably priced there i don't think really there was not much that was overpriced but the first thing i want to show you is this juicy couture um 
jean jacket and it's got these cool patches on it there's one there and there's a couple on this arm uh, and I'm not gonna bother with telling you how much I paid for everything and unless it's something special um, I picked up these New Jersey Jets pajamas and uh, cute these are really cute this is uh, official NBA wear and I'm hoping that those will sell well. Um, I got this, these couple of things at the bins. This is a cute little skirt with pockets. I know it's a spring color, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, Val says she hasn't gone to any garage or church sales. Um, you, you wait all year and then I don't go. I saw your Barbie. Holy mackerel. Yeah, that's right. I sold a Barbie for $649 and I keep saying it, but I'm sorry. It's my biggest sale ever. Um, so I got the that little skirt at the bins. This is a brand called Etc. Who? Oh, we'll get him. Um, but this is such a cute little cotton skirt. And again, bins. This is a little A-line graphic print skirt. It's actually gray. It's not. Um, it's not uh, blue. Everything looks blue right now. Um, but this is such a cute little fold over cotton skirt. This is Cynthia Rowley. And it's this little um, tie front cashmere sweater. This is a brand that I have not heard of or picked up. Hey, um, it's hot here. It's too hot in Florida for yard sales right now. Also waiting for snow birds to come back. Yeah. Had a great sale on a vintage Ralph Lauren blanket. Uh, but Eve contacted me to say that it was an authorized buy. Ugh, that's too bad. Uh, I picked this up. This is Hazel. And I'm pretty sure that is an anthro brand. This is a really heavy kind of black overlay eyelet um dress it's a, a heavy a little bit of stretch but a heavy fabric so and it's kind of a fit and flare i'm really excited about that um this is a shirt i bought for myself um this is an orvis it's women's it's corduroy cute print it's a smaller size uh, but I got that on the got that on the dollar twenty five rack at St. Vincent de Paul. Um, also the same with this this shirt. Um, this is a Cold Water Creek, but it's for me. It's actually too big, so can't wear that one. Let's see, had a great sale. Oh yeah, I already read that. Yeah, had Open a great here. sale again. <laughs> still had that great sale. eBay still does. This. <laughs> This is new with tags. It is a Harper Lane, and that's a Stitch Fix brand. And this is a super cute sweater. It's got this, um, I don't even know what that's called, raggedy. I am feeling blue. Yes, I am. I need a helper. None of my friends take my work serious. Um, Where do you live? <laughs> see, Holly's volunteering. Like how, um, how's the travel? But I haven't bought, uh, I bought one other Stitch Fix piece. I haven't sold it yet, but their, their pieces seem like really good quality. Iowa, Holly. Oh, home of the corn. <laughs> I don't know. I um, say cheese and potatoes, both of which no. Right. This is a little crop sweater that says gangsta on the front. I bought that probably. Oh, I'm excited. And I'm not going to go through every pair of jeans here, but I do have um, Lauren Ralph Lauren. I have, this is a brand I don't know. It's, oh, that's an offer. Oh, we'll take that to Jane. Uh, She's like, actually, we won't. I don't know. We might counter that offer. I think I've got that listed for like $89. Is it a $5 offer? 40 Oh, well, that's not bad. At least they're not um, This is read by Mark Echo. I do, do not know this brand. Echo. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, 
the lizard people. Uh, this is a White House Black Market pair of jeans. All of these jeans I got on the clearance rack for $1.25 a pair. Here's a pair of BKE and Cabby. I got several pairs of Cabby jeans. They're so Cabby. Uh, let's see. Ann Taylor Loft. I thought we were going to I don't know why I spell it like you people can't read. Or, I was about to spell out the word screwed. Like your viewers couldn't name, uh, can't, like put you, the words they, they're, together. They're, like they're not children. toddlers. Ann Taylor. Again, $1.25 for all of these jeans. So I just went in and cleared them out. This, These ones probably won't sell these cabbies. They've been hand. hand. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. And finally, the last pair of jeans. These are really cute. Uh, these are White House Black Market, little embellished pocket. Again, if I sell all this these clothes for ten dollars, I will more than pay for all the money that I spent, and I have I have a ton of stuff. Val says my niece has offered to start modeling for me. She has a perfect little frame for it. I'm gonna try it. Might boost sales on a real body. Chris is finally well, I've had four children. So finally in the house. I don't have that body. Anymore. Yeah. Look at look at the steal we got though, because they were trying to get eighteen dollars for this game, and we got for less than twenty five because it was half off. Oh, it was in the box. Oh. This, this jackpot game was eighteen dollars, is what they were trying to get, and they knocked it to twenty five, where we then got it half oh, off. That's crazy. Um, this is a wool banana skirt, a line banana skirt, banana republic skirt with pockets. Um, super cute. Also dollar twenty five. I uh, um pretty close. Still got some clothes. We're about halfway done with the clothes. Yeah, Chris is gonna have to come to Columbus and then the three of us will thrift together. Um, this is a cute plum colored or eggplant colored uh Emma James full A-line skirt. Um these I bought a pair of Worthington pants for dollar twenty-five for myself. This is an Ann Taylor little shirt. And let's see. This is a Woolrich sweater. It's kind of a cute print. I do like that. I do like it. What are you doing, Halls? I'm testing and I just wore it. So I was with Chris um, on Thursday. This brand I don't know, but I thought this was really a cute, embellished. Um, it's dressier than a tee, so I thought I would pick that up, and it was cheap. Um, so I say to Chris, you know, I'm not going to buy any more LuLaRoe because it just doesn't sell for anything, and I don't know why I got caught up into it and all of that, and then I picked this up for $1.25, and it's LuLaRoe. However, this is not their typical fabric. This is a like a poly knit and it's ribbed for her pleasure, apparently. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, but it's more dressy. So I decided to take a risk, a dollar twenty-five risk on that. Um, this is I picked this up yesterday. This is a cabby kind of sweater jacket. Um, the front and color are wool and then it's got um, a sweater sleeve and a sweater back. Really cute. I can't take the blue anymore, Holly. So what would you like me to do? I want you to open the red curtain, I guess. On the left or right side? On the right side. There we go. I shouldn't be blue anymore. We'll just have to deal with that little bit of glare. Uh, we've been in the store for three and a half hours before I stumbled upon a clearance rack. And told me about, yeah, Chris told me that she's like, everything on this rack is $1.25. And I'm like, what? And I went crazy. Um, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, green label denim that I picked up yesterday. Look at this cute detail under the arm. Like vented. Lord knows we need that. Uh, this is a super cute halter dress and tailor. Look at that. Super cute. Yes, I know it probably is going to sell. What size is that denim? This is 
This is a 2X. It's rather large. Um, let's see. This is um, a Notori nightgown that I picked up. I don't think this will do as well as the uh, Moo Moo thing I bought the other day and sold already. But it's still good quality, and I love the print on this. It's like dragons. It's a very Ming Dynasty. Ming. This is another Notori, and they are just pink cotton pajamas. Maybe I can grow into it. I don't think you need to try to grow into it. No, Val, I did all this shopping over the last three days. This is an Adrian Arpel. Arpel. What? Papel. Um, this cute little glittery skirt. It's got like tool, a tool overlay on top of a cute liner. Cute, cute liner. Um, this is another Notori. This is a Josie. And I think that is for Target. It's Notori for Target. So this is a little peach nightgown with a uh, rose in the belt. And it's got a little purple, a little purple robe that goes with it. Yeah, I hope it photos um, good. That, that skirt is gorgeous. But yeah, and then the, the little purple robe has little rosettes on it too. Super cute. Um, this is also Notori, and I think this is just like a lounge shirt. This is a small. I think they're doing it wrong. What? Oh. Yeah. Um, would you get me a bottle of water? I will. This is a connected apparel. Cute little dress. Loungewear. Very nice. Evening there. Um, it's got the little belt with it. This is knitted and knotted, which I did not know. This was a anthro uh, brand. But look at the back on this. It is so cute. Look at this all. Oh, that's cute. This is, um, Tracy Thrifts It just posted one of these, I think on Instagram, like a week or so ago. This is a vintage early 2000s um, t-shirt for Big Johnson. Remember these, Holly? Big Johnson. The Big Johnson. Oh, yeah. The gum? No. They're always, like, suggestive. I don't know. It says. It's like Bazooka Joe's. Yeah, that's it's a knockoff for Bazooka. This oh. one is a knockoff for Bazooka Joe. It says the Big Johnson, ten inches uh, to rub her gums. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, very suggestive. Um, yeah, and that's uh, false advertising because it's never ten inches. So I tell you that it never. Is. I'm glad you figured that. False advertising. Let's see. This is a pair of Lululemon, and they are pretty pilled up little mark there but I will defuzz the crap out of these and those will sell well and this is a pair of jeggings for moi uh, let's see almost done with clothes we'll have to go to something else um, this, and this is a Lane Bryant that is might go with me on vacation this is the last clothing item that I see I think we bought a couple Oh, one sweater. This is, oh, yeah, I bought one sweater. It's a um, Liz Claiborne, but it's a silk cashmere blend. And it's Check like this out. Did you buy two? Or is it an over? over it's a candy set. set. So oh, check. That looks straight out of Grandma's closet. This is like straight out of the 70s. It's a chiffon maxi dress. I remember the woman up to buy just wore that. It's been 84 years. Uh, this is by Jack Bryan. And 
Those don't sell often, but they do sell you want your for list for. a fair amount. Okay. Um, this is a cute, cute, cute. Look at that. I love that detail. Um, somebody might be able to tell me what that's called. Uh, but it it's a silk cashmere. It's so soft. And if I could squeeze into it, well, she technically got two. I might. Um, I'm still in your sweater. I'll put your shoe over my sweater. Oh, that's cute too. Your, your sweater is cute. I didn't even see when you picked that up. I picked it up when I got the sleepy pants. Oh, so I don't know. I still can't figure out what brand these are. If you know what brand these are, please tell me. Um, Old Treasure Vintage is with me, is with us. Uh, these are super cute, kind of a platform. It says sports on the back. That yeah, that doesn't help. It says sports. Um, it's got a rose logo inside. I don't know. I paid five bucks for them because I just thought they were fabulous. Um, so, um, I, I was happy to get those, but I got to figure out what they are or it's useless to have them. I picked up these North Face and I think the guy sold them to me for four bucks, but these are cute sand sandals size 12 men. All right, Paul. Well, Let's start handing me. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start. Random here. stuff. Pick this up today. Um, I just love the powder puff girls. I don't know if this is worth anything, but I paid a quarter for it. And I just thought it was the cutest little lamp. Alright. Is this all of them? No. Okay, so I went crazy with the brat dolls today. I bought all of them that they had. And I bought all of the accessories that they had. So they had them in lots of two for a dollar and the uh, brat, uh, everything was a half off today. So I, I don't know how many did we get? Uh, I don't know. I've got four over here. Okay. And oh, look at that tiny little guy. Oh, He's little tiny. Little Bella. He's He's tiny. Tiny. Bye. So close for him. And there's eight, eight. Uh, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. Aren't they a cute couple? 24. Yeah. So I got 24 dolls. They were marked a dollar a piece. I got them for 50 cents. Um, so that means I paid a quarter per doll. And then I got all of these accessories. Um, they were marked a dollar, a little bag, and uh, I got all of those for half off. So, and then I bought this cute little basket for my sister for her fall party. Um, I don't know if Bratz dolls, if there's a market for them, um, but I figured at the very least, I would have local sales out of those. Um, so then I bought all of their Gans plush. So I got, look at all these guys. I don't know if they're worth anything. They might be worth something lotted up. But again, I paid a quarter each for these. So there's three. Look at this collie. He's too much. Uh, four, five. Oh, I want to keep that for myself. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at the face. Eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I've got 20 plush, but guess what's in the ba bottom of here? More rats. Look at that. 
So what, what was I think? I don't know. 20? 20, I think. Or 20. So, no, more, because it was 20 with the two girls I added, and then you added the pack with the little So I got over 30. I don't remember. I can't count. But looking at these, she's cute. Look at her hair. Um, so I got so many. This is crazy. Again, I don't know if those gans will be worth anything. They paid a quarter. But I paid a quarter. And they're in excellent condition. I mean, no flaws. Um, I had, didn't check. I didn't check when I bought them. For a quarter a piece, the kids will love them. You know, I've got eight grandkids. If they aren't worth anything, I can always take them to my sister's fall party. I'm pretty keyed up about it. And give them away to the kids there yep. as prizes for, you know, all dunking the prizes. apples and all of that. So, it's win-win. Give me this. Give me this. I'm just going to hand you this. And you can take that. Um, I picked up a Boppet a for $1.50 with the... Um, with the manual, I don't know if this one is worth much, but I figured I was getting good enough deals. This I overpaid for. Um, this is a uh, Mattel Star and Friends from like 1980. I paid 350 for this. It's not worth as much as I hoped, but you know, you win some, you lose some, some get rained out. This is a spiralizer I bought for me because there might be a chance I might eat a vegetable someday. Let's see. Got hooked on the Monster High dolls. I love them. And I buy them whenever I saw them, see them. Um, and I'm going to see if maybe these Brett dolls are worth anything. Um, let's see. Gans would be good at auction items. Put them up and let them keep listing them until they sell. Do it, Sarah. Let's see your Boppet skills. <laughs> Let me show you. I don't have any boppet skills. Uh, it gives me such anxiety. I'm like, Ugh. it's like Simon, but worse. Right. Okay. I don't know what this he is. Like, does he sit? I don't know what he what he does or what he is. He unfolds. Who knows? But it's you know folds. it's a dude. When he opens. Yeah. It looks maybe this flips open. I don't. Like, look, we didn't have this kind of time to check this out. At right. Place. I just bought it because it was a, you know, it ended up being a quarter. But it, oh. oh. Here we go. Play set. It's a little play set. Look at that. Well, there's nothing with it, but it's still, like, still kind of cute. Didn't know what he was. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know what he was. So there's that. That's probably worthless. Kids will enjoy it. Kids will enjoy it. <laughs> Chris said, ooh, Linda, look. Um, this was a dollar. This is a Viewmaster projector, and it's got three like packs of cartridges on the back. There's one missing, but um, I always think I don't know that this will sell on eBay. I'm not sure, but I always think about resale with these kinds of. Oh look, it works with these kinds of things um, locally. I know that the holidays are coming. I know people will be. Look, it's got a remote. Yeah, I told you that this year. I don't pay attention to you, I Holly. Know, I don't speak unless spoken to you and heard. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe I'll sell it for ten or fifteen dollars. Maybe she'll keep it. No, but fine. I don't mind taking like those smaller amounts when it's um, local because I'm just going to put it on the porch and somebody's going to pick it up. Uh, got this uh, cute little decoration for a dollar. I got. That's heavy. That's this like clock, it is heavy. really heavy. And um, I got this for $250. And I may, Bishop, Bishop Adams and Company, it may be actually, you know, worth something. I don't know. But um, I thought maybe I'd sell this locally. Um, I bought a Brother Knitting Machine. That looks like it's complete. Um, I paid ten dollars for that, and they look like they're selling between one seventy-five and and two hundred. They are a pain to ship, but it's worth it. It is so worth it. Um, hold on. Okay, so you see this little little tykes toolbox? I bought this for resale, and it's sitting kind of funny because. 
I didn't. I just put. We just. It, it we, it's taken days. apart. So I'm in the store. I see the brother. And the brother knitting machine, I laid on top of my tiny little cart that's full. And then I see that little tykes, um, I see that little tykes tool bench or workbench. And I'm like, holy crap, now I've got, you know, I've got to hold the brother knitting machine on the cart and I'm pulling this along with me. And I just pick up the phone and I call Chris because she's somewhere in the store. And I'm like, could you come up front? Because I need your help. And she proceeded to take the top off of it um, and help me go through the line so I could pay for my stuff um, so I could load the car with that. And she even took it out of the car for me. And then um, I uh, was able to go back and shop for another hour. So it was a good time. It was a good time. It's a very... Uh, Lucy and Ethel moment. Like this is just the box of the actual. Um, I haven't looked this up. But it came with all the chips. Oh, Kiari's here. Hey, Kiari. Um, but this is probably 70s. Let's see. Look how old. 73. Mm -hmm. 1973. And I got this for half of a quarter, so 12 and a half cents. And it has all original instructions and all your. Oh. And the box. And so. The box. I'll list that and see if it does anything. Are we getting anywhere close? Hi, Matt. Oh, it's not close to you. It's still I picked this up for five bucks. Isn't that a cool sign? Um, it's metal. And I will either sell this local or give it to somebody. Uh, it'll go to Holly if it goes no anywhere. Like, like, mm. um, so this thing is... Um, durable medical equipment. Actually, it's probably not durable medical equipment. It's probably a prescription durable medical equipment. Sorry, Jackson. And I paid 99 cents for this. This is a um, vest that you would put on and then it causes pressure on your chest and it helps with it like... It suffocates you. Yes, it pretty much does the boa, con boa constrictor. Um, no, it um, causes like cleans out your congestion and stuff. Mm -hmm. It forces it out of you. Yeah. So what I was interested in are these parts because you can't sell anything on eBay that requires a prescription, but I think I can sell the replacement parts. So the vest is in here and the hoses are in here. I saw a set of hoses that had sold recently for fifty dollars. So, so the rest of this is so this metal. is actually you know needs to go in the landfill. Unfortunately, uh, it's not in very good condition anyway. But this part of it, take that off. Uh, yeah, cut that off and we'll take care of that. So um, that that was a good invest. So many big things. I'm so adventurous. Um, I'm just, you know. But as you can see, part I've of gotten stuff so goes much better at shipping than I used to you be. Want this fun thing? Yeah, yeah hit me we're that. talking about big things. Since we're talking about big things, um, I picked this up for six ninety nine, and this is a bun hot water system. And I just know that these industrial type things like this are so expensive. I don't know exactly what this one is worth, but I'm going to do well on it. I would say probably upwards of $40 on that thing. Maybe maybe a lot more. I don't know. Um, I picked this up yesterday. for It's a wireless controller. I don't have the dongle for it. Thanks, Holly. I'm um, sorry. I was like, Holly, I text her. Do I need anything? If and She goes, not if it's wireless. Is there any other part? It needs a dongle. Well, okay, but in my defense, did I get a picture to show you that? Yeah, right. um, okay, yeah, yeah, you did. I picked up this Hamilton Beach. What's this called? Uh, stay and go, stay or go. Um, it's got the locking lid on it. Little crock pot. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Chris says that her stepmom uses that for CF. That vest. Ugh. So, um, anyway, I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this, so I'm gonna take this to the fall party that I keep talking about and leave it. Huh, there you go, so I don't need one. Um, picked up this uh TI 82, not worth a whole lot, maybe twelve dollars, fifteen bucks. I paid 49 cents for it. Um, I picked these up because I thought Holly might enjoy them. Ooh. There's mensels. 
They're scented pencils. I love scented pencils. There you go. I just love scents. Um, oh, I have any creepy stalkers out there. I like candles. <laughs> I keep telling everyone that. So, I brought this home. The sound purse? Uh-huh. Paid $5.99 for it. I think it's worth about $35. Is there a horse inside? No, there's not. But when I showed it to my husband, he's like, that's a cool purse. And I'm like, well, it's a man purse now. I'm like, I. <laughs> Mom's got to use this purse now because her husband likes I it. I would not carry this purse. Oh, you will now. <laughs> I will not carry this purse. But yeah, 35 bucks. Right so here. if you see these, um, they're I definitely worth like picking something. up if they're not very expensive. Uh, I picked this up for $2.50. I'm going to try and get $20 for it locally. Um, because those are kind of expensive. Are we getting there? Yeah. We're, getting, we're getting pretty close. We still have a lot. I picked these up for two do three dollars. I'm gonna put these on Etsy. The purse, the purse is everything. Uh, let's see. I always look for tooled leather stuff. Nice find. Well, thanks. Um, I picked these up. These are vintage. And they are, what are they, Holly? Do you know? They're not for K-Cups. But they're kitchen? Because I was going to guess. They're not for things. They're actually spool holders for thread. For thread. Yeah. yeah. So they're aluminum, and they're kind of a pink. They are like a, almost a rose gold. Yeah. So uh, I will do that. Um, I never even thought about what? Etsy. She said check Etsy mm -hmm, for tool oh. leather. So, but I'm going to put these on Etsy and I don't know what I'm going to charge for them, but I just thought they were really cool and I wanted to save them from uh, from somebody else buying them maybe. I, like, I didn't want anyone else <laughs> to have them. Is that what I tried to do? Um, I picked up this Chanel sunglasses case. It's in really good condition. It does have a couple of marks on the top, but I paid 49 cents for that. But mom dropped it, and that's why it had yeah, the marks well. on the top. No. I'm not saying I didn't. So I'll never admit it. this is from Hallmark, and it's called the Yule Kalele. Oh, the Christmas. So you turn it on. Yeah. And then you, you turn it on. Then you Jingle up on the house top. And I will do that one out the side. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Anyway, Jingle so this is the way. Yule Kalele. Uh, I haven't seen any oh any recent solds, um, but I'll try to get ten or fifteen dollars for Everyone's it. Um, too. The Yule Kalele. Yeah, uh, I picked this up for two dollars and ninety nine cents. I'll try and flip this locally for fifteen to twenty dollars. This is a heated dog bowl, and it's coming up on winter in a few months. Isn't that Prussia? I said pretentious. Oh, no, that was not, oh. that was not the word oh, I said. Oh, pretentious. Pretentious. Um, I picked up these for thank you cards for um, Poshmark. I picked up this cute little cross stitch with Tinkerbell on it for a dollar. Mom picked up these and I broke one. Mom picked up these and Holly broke one. Just a little stem issue. I got three of these little ceramic... Uh, pumpkins for a dollar each, but Holly, Holly broke one, but that's okay. We'll fix it. it. I'm using it for the decoration for the fall party that I keep yeah. mentioning because it's clearly on my a brain. Um, pick this up. Uh, this is that's really pretty subject matter. Um, stocking, and I paid three dollars for this. It is complete, and oh yeah, could use that dog bowl for birds in the winter that's smart that's smart you don't water you don't water birds well no not in the winter time because it's too cold <laughs> like, uh, i'm not going out there uh, but anyway i'll put that on etsy i picked these up because i thought they could be worth something and i paid 99 cents for all of them um and they're just old not even that old uh comic books but I'm not even mad that they're not worth anything. They're cool. They're yeah, they've got cool. cool art. I'm like, that's really cool art. And I didn't look them all up. I just, there's a Twilight Zone. I had um, my daughter look at one of them. 
and ask her her nerdy boyfriend. Not me. I don't have a nerdy boyfriend. No. Um, Shout yeah. out to you, Jessica. Yeah. <laughs> I got a tighter twister that I will not be parting out. I'll be selling whole. I got this for 99 cents. That is the cat scattered. The, <laughs> the cat's running when the workbench just fell apart. Okay. Uh, so there's a tighter twister. Yeah. Um, this I picked up yesterday. Oh, they're fine. Um, <laughs> this is Yo Gabba Gabba. If you see Yo Gabba Gabba stuff. It's so super annoying, but everyone loves it. It is very annoying, but um, it usually sells really well. I think I paid two dollars for the dollar for this, and I think um, I think this one sells for about twenty to twenty five dollars. There are similar ones. There's one that's a play set. It is also a gray boom box, but it's thicker and it opens up. And that one can be worth $30, $40, $50. I've sold that one before. Um, but this is. My name is Rosie. My name is Rosie. Greetings. Please come here. Get down. Get down. Super cute. Oh, Val says she sold hers for around $30. Oh, I didn't know that, that worked. Stop. For real. Um, let's see. I bought this bag. I'm notorious. Here, let's the so I'm notorious for not opening the bag. People. Looking in DVDs to make sure that the DVD is in there. Or that it's not scratched all to pieces. Uh yeah, Val, the one with the figures. I've sold it without some of the figures and it still does okay. So I picked this up and I'm like, holy crap, this is some kind of homeschool stuff or testing material. And I always do well with that. And then we opened it and it's like a, a shelf or something. a shelf or a lamp or something. Yeah, because I didn't even think about that. But yeah, this looks like a lampshade. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that explains this piece. Yeah. So uh, who knows? We're gonna try I don't to know figure why that is, out. Maybe but, local that. Yeah. I don't know that there's any lamp parts in there though. Okay, well maybe we don't, I don't know. It out. Well, we will try. I don't know what it is. Okay. You've got these two stacks and my pile on the couch, but we don't necessarily have to show my Oh. Pile. Chris is having FOMO right now. Fear of missing out because she passed on a bunch of Lego friends stuff. Uh, who's messaging me? Nancy sending me photos. Um, pick these up at the bins. I like this movie, so. I know, showing SpongeBob and Patrick. Oh, yeah. She bought SpongeBob and Patrick for and the grandkids. Patrick. But we almost missed Patrick. I got House, a season of one and two of House. This one's sealed, and I think this one does okay on Amazon. I got this set of National Geographic. I think that, yeah. Um, DVDs still sealed. I think this one does about 30 on Amazon and it has a pretty decent rank. All right. I have Reader Rabbits uh, Learn to Read System. It looks like it does okay. Uh, $3 for that. I have Disney Seen It. Um, I don't remember what it sells for, but it does. Okay, and I got this. Oh, I paid this for I paid two ninety nine for that. I paid ninety nine cents for Harry Potter seen it. I paid. Um, I don't remember. No, I got this at the bin, so I paid by weight for this one. And uh, it's the Simpsons Game of Life, and it is complete. We we took. Played it yesterday. Did you? It was yeah. fun. I like life. Anyway. And then I got Harry Potter Clue. So those are the board things I picked up. What else? Is there anything else? This stuff. Um, all this stuff is move all that off. This. Yeah. And just give me the thing on the bottom. Um, so I bought the, the, the grandbabies, a whole stack of books. Hey Beverly. Um, I paid $13.99 for this, and it is Guitar Hero 2. I've already done that. Okay. And um, this guitar is used. 
And it is, yeah, it's a big haul, but I think we're about done. I yep. think that's everything. That is. Um, this guitar is clearly used. It's got stickers from in and out Burger all over it, which we don't even have that here in the Midwest nope. at all. Um, but in the box, it is a corded guitar. Does not have the game in here, but I picked up the game uh, on eBay for four dollars, and I think I can get about sixty to sixty-five for this. So I think I did pretty well. I spent two hundred fifty dollars. I should make quite a bit now. That being said, my sourcing days are done, are done for probably a week at least. At least a week. Maybe two. Probably two. Probably two. That's my husband because I didn't tell him I was going live. You think that would be important, right? Right. Oops. Oh well. At least we're at the end of the haul. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's that is everything, right? I think so. Besides my little oh, Holly's got her little stuff. I got a treasure bought, trove over here. We bought tools and stuff, or toys and stuff for babies, but yeah, okay. So that's um, yeah, Nancy says yeah until next weekend. I must admit, Nancy, if there's a church sale next weekend, I will go. And if anyone says half off, yeah, if if I catch a whip a whiff of half off, I have to go. What was that? I think said. somebody said half off somewhere, but um, anyway, I just wanted to jump on and do this. Oh, Becky, look at that haul. It's so big. It's so big. She looked like one of those thrifter guys, girlfriends. girlfriends. Like those sex store owners. <laughs> right, right. She looked like one of those hoarders, girlfriends. Why did she die? <laughs> anyway, um, I will see you later, Val. I, Chris, but that was really funny. Are we only talking goodbye, Val? Screw the rest of you. <laughs> no, Val's leaving. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Val, I'll see you later. Hang up. No, no, Val was leaving. Like, oh. oh, she's trying to keep me in line or something. Um, but anyway, I did, I was like, I don't want to film all this and then have to edit it and then have to, you know, upload it and all that. So I thought we'd just jump on it and do it. Now I have to take care of this chaotic mess. That's why I'm here. Before my husband gets home. So, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Um, for watching. For okay. watching. Bell, Bell, uh, thank you, Bell. <laughs> Chris says we love you live. I will start doing more live again. I just had a busy summer, a really busy summer. I know y'all can't see them, but I have one of a kind custom tights that you should be very, yeah, Chris, very jealous. She's of. got, she's got tights with patches on them. Tights with patches. Anyway, um, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate you being here. Um, you're right, Nancy. It has been a long time. It's been too long, and I will do something again soon. Maybe another listing party. I haven't done one of those in forever. Next time, she's going to pop out with a ghost mask on as soon as she starts the live show. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Okay. Well, okay. thank you. Um, I appreciate everybody being here, and I will see you guys the next time. I don't know how to end this because I did it different. Ah, oh, no, okay, got it. Bye-bye.